Hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me again on another episode of The Crafting Coach. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am The Crafting Coach. And this week, we are going to think spring with a really fun project. The groundhog didn't see his shadow this year, so we're going to put our winter projects behind us and we're going to start March off with something that you're sure to love. This week we're going to put together this adorable decoration that would look great on any wall or door. Of course, you can always use any word on this, but this spring thing is just what any house could use right now. So here is what you'll need for this week's project. Six small pieces of wood. These were in an 8-pack at Hobby Lobby for $3. Scrapbook paper acrylic paint, sticker letters, and ribbon. You'll also want rubber cement, a scissors, and a paintbrush, and I'm going to be adding some buttons and burlap accessories, so grab a glue gun for that. You'll want to drill four small holes in each corner before you begin. This will be for our ribbon. Then paint each piece whatever color or colors that you'd like. You only have to go around the outside edges as that's all that will be showing in the finished product. While those are drying, select the scrapbook paper you'd like to use and cut out each piece so they're slightly smaller than your wooden pieces. When your wood pieces are dry, apply a thin amount of rubber cement to the wood and attach the paper. Punch through the paper so the holes that you made on your wood are visible again. Now it's time to decorate the different pieces. You'll obviously want a different letter on each one, but feel free to jazz it up a bit with some homemade ideas. I made these flowers by cutting a strip of burlap, gluing one end, then snipping an inside piece on the opposite end and pulling tight. Just use some hot glue to secure it. I'm also going to make some fun use of some buttons. When those are done, take a bit of ribbon that's longer than all of your pieces stacked together, then double it. Find the exact middle and string the ribbon through the top two holes in the bottom letter, stringing them from the back to the front. Take your next piece and string the ribbon through the bottom two holes of your second to last piece, then up the back and back out the top two holes. Continue the same way all the way up. Be sure to give the wooden pieces plenty of space between them so they hang nice and straight. At the top, just tie the ribbon in a knot and find the perfect place to hang it. This piece is the perfect reminder that spring is, in fact, on its way. It can be customized for any season, or you can use a name or another word for a really personal touch. I spent $3 on the wood, $3 on the sticker letters, and $2 on the ribbon, and I already accumulated the rest of my materials from doing 48 previous Crafty Coach projects, so we found yet another project for less than 10 bucks. If you want to check out my 48 previous Crafting Coach projects, you can absolutely do that. Just head online to AberdeenNews.com, click the 605 Life tab on the homepage, and scroll down to The Crafting Coach. All the videos are available for you there, and tell your friends too, because you don't need a subscription to view these videos. I will be back next Friday morning at 11 a.m. with my 50th Crafting Coach project. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my Crafting Coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. And in addition to following the Aberdeen American News online, be sure to follow us on Facebook too, where all the Crafting Coach videos are also available for you. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, project ideas, please email me at mrosendahl at AberdeenNews.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video, and we will see you next week. Bye!